Hello, this is Aida Domisiewicz from Fortin Arts and today I want to show you some nice techniques and tricks how to work with stencils and mediums. Fortin Arts stencils are manufactured in Poland and designed um, mostly by me. Uh, as you can see, we've got different designs, so many to choose from, from graphic, from text and flowers and uh, nice frames or vintage wings. So there are very versatile, very different and great quality. The most popular and easiest way to use stencils is to use it with modeling paste. So just grab a spatula knife or a rubber brush and just use it with stencil. You've got nice 3D design. You can dry it with a heat gun or just leave it to dry naturally. The other uh, way, very easy way, to have 3D effect is to use a stencil with gel medium. The design will be transparent. Now I, have to sh I want to show you many ways how to work with colorful mediums. So if you have these uh, nice backgrounds with modeling paste and gel medium, you can spray it with mist. But what's uh, really uh, interesting, you can wipe off the excess. So as you can see on the left, you've got modeling paste and the effect is not that good. But if you wipe off uh, the spray from gel medium, it's much better. The next uh, technique is to mixing, is mixing um, different mediums with them, with, it, with themselves. So if you've got colorful paint, any kind of paint, you can mix it with modeling paste. The, uh, if you want to color gel, uh, you can mix it with water ink, or you can mix it with powders, colorful powders, like rainbow color powders. Look how easy it is to get your own colorful gel. And if you want to have much more texture, or if your paint is too uh, liquid, or your gesso is too liquid, add texture powder. You can see here, I, I mix texture powder with black gesso to receive really nice, thick, quite dry paste to achieve the best effect I can. You can also mix it with paint. You can also mix it uh, with uh, the paint and modeling paste to, to get it, uh, to make it thicker. Uh, if you want a crackle paste, you can add it to white gesso, which is already thick, but it will be much thicker and it will crack after applying. So many different ways to mix colors, to mix different mediums, and I will show you how to use them later. So let's start with wings. I'm using black gesso mixed with texture uh, powder and also a little bit of white gesso just to mix uh, two colors and get a really nice effect. Next, I'm applying uh, colorful gels. One is with uh, water ink, one is with rainbow powder, but it really doesn't matter. And in the middle, you can see they mix together, so you've got right, really nice shades of color. Next, we're applying paints. This one is mixed with texture powder, but you can mix different, different paints. You can mix gels, you can mix gesso, so you can see it's a really nice and cool effect if you really mix different mediums with themselves so the effect is much, much more interesting. What else we can do? We can make our own coarse paste. So if you've got modeling paste, uh, any kind of glass micro beads, I'm using 13 hours micro beads, uh, you will get a coarse paste. You can also mix it with uh, sand or grit. And if you want uh, to have really nice glittery look, just apply glitter on wet modeling paste. And now it's time for rusty look. Uh, apply gel medium first, then pour rusty powder, 
and then add the reagent. After some time, it will dry and you will get this really nice rusty look. Next, if you want to have shiny gel, not just colorful, just uh, only, uh, only shiny gel, you can mix the gel medium with shiny powders or uh, color gloves. And also you can mix the colors on your design and you will get a really nice effect. Okay, so I have shown you a few different techniques with 3D effect. But what about flat effect? We want to make them in art journals or cards or sometimes on layouts. So the first is the easiest way is to use it uh, with sponge, some um, ink pads and different sponges. You can also mix colors. Second way is just spraying with mist. Also, you can use sea sponge and uh, paints, acrylic paints, water paints, up to you and just apply it with the sponge. What is really interesting, we can also stamp with stencils. What I'm, uh, the effect I'm after is a really messy background, uh, not really predictable. So I'm preparing uh, watercolors with some water. Uh, also, you can apply it with a sponge, but even better effect is with stamping. So I'm just apply, applying some uh, paint on the stencil and I stamp with it. It's kind of unpredictable effect. You can add some water as well, but I like this uh, watercolor background as well. You can also layer uh, different uh, techniques. You can add some um, black ink with a uh, sponge, um, but you can also draw, you can outline, you can um, just color uh, the design with um, with the pencils or pen. So it's really, really versatile product and you can use it in so, so many ways. The next uh, technique I want to show you is wiping off the uh, wet paint. So I'm applying a clear gesso on the left paper to prime it. And on the right, you've got watercolor paper, just watercolor paper. And when you apply the paint, you can use a stencil to wipe, wipe off your design. So on the right, um, just wiping off the excess of paint. And the design is nice, but not that nice because it's not very wide. If you want to have it really wide, use clear gesso first. Look, it, uh, it works much better with clear gesso because you can wipe off the whole design. And my last technique to show you is monoprinting, but it's just one technique. Monoprinting is like a huge, huge knowledge and you can use lots of techniques with it. I just want to show you one with stencil. So just apply a uh, thick layer, um, a thin layer, sorry, um, of acrylic paint, then add stencil, remove the excess with tissue paper, and then after removing the stencil, um, I'm using tissue paper as well, but you can use different kind of papers, and on my tissue paper, I will get nice print. Now it's time for our canvas. So I have already have wings I've made at the beginning of this tutorial. And I want to have another layer of uh, stencil, but this time I want this nice shiny golden look. So I mix the gel medium with color glow and shiny powder to receive this nice effect. Uh, after uh, the paste is dry, I am stamping. I'm stamping randomly with uh, my uh, stamp Victoriana. Uh, it's really nice stamp for background. 
So be careful because it's canvas and in some places you have to um, be careful to uh, achieve nice print. After stamping, I will apply some elements. I've chosen some metal elements and uh, I'm making a background for my paper doll from Tim Holtz and I'm applying everything with gel medium. Gel medium dries a little bit longer uh, than regular glue, so I still have time to move my elements, to remove something or to add extra elements. So I like to work with gel medium. When it's dry, uh, gel medium is permanent and super durable. So after you apply everything, uh, you can leave the, um, the project as it is. You can add some uh, clips, you can add some title, and you can also add some color. What I wanted to uh, achieve is uh, have a nice kind of shadow or, uh, or in the background. So I will add some color glow uh, with water and some black watercolor paint, just to uh, have some kind of a shadow and some kind of a contrast for my project. The color glow is watercolor powder with shimmer and you can mix it with water and it will already stick to your project because it, because it has uh, the binder inside and also our watercolors are very highly pigmented, great quality watercolors. So as you can see, I'm not using a lot, it's just a little bit for contrast. Thank you so much for watching my tutorial. I hope you have enjoyed it I, and I hope you will feel inspired and you will create many projects. And if you do, please tag 13 Arts or tag myself uh, on your social media and I will be happy to uh, come and comment and come and see uh, what you have created. Thank you very much for watching. See you and bye bye.